I write this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the confidence which we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have attained the request made of Him. If anyone sees his brother committing what is not a mortal sin, he will ask, and God will give him life for those whose sin is not mortal. There is sin which is mortal. I do not say that one is to pray for that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin which is not mortal. We know that anyone born of God does not sin, but he who is born of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world is in the power of the evil one. How's luck? I gotta breathe better. <laughs> And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding to know Him who is true, and we are in Him who is true, in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Cool. Okay, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. We're getting close, getting close to the end of the week. Uh, we're still in the first epistle of St. John, and today, uh, this fifth chapter, we're in the, what's called, uh, or biblical scholars have, have titled the epilogue, or sort of the conclusion, uh, where, where, where John uh, rests his thesis and, and provides encouragement, his thesis being that uh, God is love, and then when we have faith in Jesus Christ, that we are animated by that love and by that love and faith in that love, we are able to, to overcome the world. He also uh, very clearly and unequivocally uh, states that, that the world itself is, is in the control of, of Satan. So the world is evil um, and, and so there's a, a real duality there. Um, but through faith in the love of God, there, um, there is salvation and you are able to overcome the world. So he bids them to stay strong and uh, pray for one another. And he does a, a very odd thing and, and something uh, to which my mind turns this morning. Uh, he says to pray for other people. I mean, when you pray for other people who are in sin, you can help them overcome that sin. But don't waste your time praying for those in mortal sin or don't pray for those in mortal sin. And it's like, whoa, hey, <laughs> what? What is that? And he doesn't explain it. Uh, you know, there's uh, there's there's no footnote where he says, okay, when I was said, don't pray for those in mortal sin, or uh, more technically, sin unto death. Don't don't I pray for them. And so you're kind of left like, <laughs> what is that? I don't want to do it, whatever it is. Um, and tell tell me more, please. So f for that, I turned to to the church fathers uh, and and looked at the sort of deposit of faith and uh, the earliest to sort of modern uh, understandings of that and explanations of that and investigations of that. And uh, it turns out, uh, I'll, I'll give you a guess. Turns out uh, that, that most people, um, and with pretty good confidence, uh, understand John to be speaking of uh, not having faith in Jesus or having uh, incorrect faith in God. Um, so, so yeah, so it kind of reminds me of uh, Paul at Mars Hill or the Acropolis or whatever, when he's arguing um, and debating with the different philosophers and they're like, tell us more about Jesus. And he does and they're like, oh, well, this is interesting. What about this and that and the other? And Paul just walks off. He's like, I'm, I'm done with these guys. Um, and so that's sort of what John is saying. You know, people with an incorrect uh, understanding or heretical understanding or, or who refuse to have faith. Um, He's, you know, it's kind of tough, but it's, and really for the modern ear, in our time, it's very tough to understand. Uh, back in biblical days, philosophy was the most important thing in the world. Words mattered tremendously. Um, yeah, tremendously. Uh, understandings mattered tremendously. You would spend your whole life trying to do that. In our own world, it's, uh, some people call postmodern or, or whatever, uh, truth and an understanding are a little less important. I hate to say that, but uh, to the world they are and processes and uh, outcomes and things like that are, 
or more so and uh, you know there's sort of uh, this idea that that uh, there is no objective truth that sort of whatever truth gets you through the day works um, and so when you hear that it's uh, cruel almost the words of John if you uh, really have a an understanding of the world a very very modern secular understanding of the world what John's saying is is cruel and mean but uh, when you get into the weeds and start looking at what he's talking about uh, you know if you refuse to believe that uh, God loves you um, and that God created you to be saved God created you to be in a relationship with him in the world uh, because of the economics of, of freedom um, and free will and free choice the world chose against that um, evil and and yeah and so we can't force those people and when those people are faced with a decision and choose against what, what are you going to do there's you know you can't force them to do that kind of like Paul Paul was like they were sitting there playing with this stuff they don't they don't really care to understand it uh, they just want they just want to play with my mind and and have this fun game um, it's the same way John says with those who are sinning unto death. Uh, you know, they have no interest in the love that God offers. So, yeah, so it's, it's interesting to think about. Uh, and it always makes me, brings me back to a place where I think about truth. Pilate asks, what is truth? Uh, in, in our own day, in our own age, uh, that's very much under attack. And, uh, I, I know I've gotten in trouble on more than one occasion for proclaiming what I believe to be true and what I understand through faith to, to be true and, and people saying it's cruel. You know, so, uh, but there's, there, there's John um, and there's some thoughts for us for the, for the day. So um, contemplate what you hold to be true, objectively true. Uh, yeah. Hold, hold fast to those things, and as John says, uh, live in the love of God and, and pray for one another. So everybody have a great Thursday, and God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.